calling it a love song what is up my awesome gemstones it's mary gem and i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be on what do they like about you okay so we have three pals here today pal one says bluebird and there's like two little birds there that i drew myself <laughs> pal two says chemistry and it's like written in red and orange and there's like a bunch of arrows over here And pile three says, you deserve love too. And deserve is like underlined. And it's written in green. So yeah, these are the three piles. Please pick whichever one you would like to. Watch the entire video if you can as well. I love you loads. And let's get into it. What is up my awesome gemstones? It's Mary Gem and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be on what do they like about you? So yeah, sending love and light, all the good vibes. I hope that whenever you're busy watching this video, you're having an amazing day, evening, afternoon, you know, all that vibes. And also, before I start, literally guys, I made this top by myself. You can probably tell because it doesn't look that good. But I took my sweatpants, like this is where it's supposed to go. Also, guys, my tattoo, <laughs> Cancer, Gemini, Leo, and Scorpio. <laughs> Anyways, so I like cut out the part where your crotch goes and then, yeah, anyways. So it's kind of big and it's low-key falling off. And then I took my mom's eyeliner and I'm trying to experiment with that. But yeah, anyways, it's low-key, like, really hot, so I'm actually gonna roll my sleeves up, but anyways, I digress. So, yeah, what do they like about you? Let's get into it. Okay, so part one, you guys chose the blue bird card, okay? So, I will link down the poem below, but there's a poem called Blue Bird by Charles Bukowski. Honestly, it's a really great poem. But yeah, so I feel like part one, um, what this person likes about you, like, even while I was busy just taking the cards out, like, pal one, your energy was so intense that, like, I literally was like, damn, okay? So, um, I feel like there's a lot of things that this person wants to get off their chest. And this person could definitely be a Virgo or, like, um, an Aries or even a Leo or, like, a Gemini. But it's like this person's um, throat chakra could definitely be blocked when it comes to you. Or like their heart chakra is blocked when it comes to you so maybe you aren't dating this person but either way i feel like this person likes that um you're able to express the things to them that they can't express themselves and i feel like it goes back to like you know poetry and like music and just like um having an open heart chakra and having an open throat chakra because it's like you know sometimes when you listen to a song and it's like this artist is able to articulate just how you feel and I feel like that's how this person feels about you where it's like maybe you like this person a lot and it's like they can tell that you like them and they wish that they could be able to express themselves in the same way that you do because you could be someone that's like openly you know affectionate like you can openly say I like you you can openly communicate and you're just someone that's like able to be open in general you know and like yeah, your heart chakra really is open. I feel like your energy is just so, like, transparent and, like, so, like, I want to say protruding, but it's, like, it's it's out there, you know? And this person really likes that you're able to, like I said, um, like, they don't need to reassure you all the time because you know how they feel and you don't try to push them to, you know, be more affectionate. You don't try to push them to be this or that. Because I get the energy that this person used to feel like in relationships, they felt like they were in a cage or something, you know, like a bird is in a cage. But like now when they're with you, they feel like they don't have to pretend to be something that they're not, you know. And they feel like they're dating their best friend basically and there isn't this type of like thing where it's like if you're a couple you have to do this and this and this. So this definitely could be an Aquarius and a Gemini in a relationship because I remember my Aquarius friend told me like when she was dating, I mean she is dating this Gemini and at the beginning they just felt like they had to like do these certain things and act a certain way in a relationship and now they don't and like 
it's just better for everyone. But anyways, um, Spirit, what does this person like about Power 1? What do they like about Power 1? I'm hearing that you could also have like small hands or like a really cute nose or like small ears and they like that about you. Um, you could be a bit chubby and like they love the weight. Oh my god, they love the weight that you are. Like they think your weight is so beautiful. Like they don't want you to lose any weight or gain any weight. Um, you could definitely have an accent. Like maybe you roll your R's a lot. Like you say R like <laughs> in South Africa we say that. Like I'm trying to think of a word. Like you say Robin. You don't say Robin. You say Robin. Or So maybe you have like a really strong accent and they love that about you. Or like if you roll your R's like I said. Maybe sometimes you pronounce words different thing they think it's really cute. Or like you space out a lot and they think it's adorable. Um, you're very hospitable. I'm seeing like you have amazing like table manners. And like if they ever go to your house like you're really just... Um, always offering them something to drink you're always just being really like like this host vibe you know hostess energy um you also could be flexible you bring a lot to the table yeah flexibility also if you have any pets they feel like you're an amazing pet owner oh my god why am i getting so many messages what the heck okay spirit what do they like about power one Oh, that's so surprising. We got the devil card, okay? So, what do they like about you, fam? Okay, I feel like, you know, when, they, when you think about birds and you think about doves, they represent peace, they represent, you know, like purity, all that vibes. But then we got the devil card. So, I feel like, Paul one, what they like about you is that you have this inner devil in you. You have this, like thing inside of you where it's like ah oh, bro it's like a daredevil vibe i feel like as much as you come off like this you know this beautiful like tranquil blue bird you just come off like you know a really loving person i feel like on the inside you have a lot of um i don't want to say demons that you're busy fighting but like i feel like that's the best way to word it where it's like you have your own problems your own addictions and everything and i feel like despite that you always try and help people with their addictions and i feel like they love that you have this restraint about you and like i remember i described this in another reading where it's like a lot of um like aa meetings like if you like go to alcohol anonymous a lot of the sponsors and people that are advocates were you know in the past um alcoholics and then they're able to help other people and like you know guide them and stuff like that and i feel like what they like about you is that like you've been through a lot and like you've healed your trauma and now that you are with someone that probably has unhealed trauma like this person feels like they have unhealed trauma it's like you understand them and I feel like you don't judge them for it, you know? Or it's like maybe you and this person um, have the same like addiction issues. Sorry, someone just ran by my window. Anyways, um, yeah, or it's like you know what it's like to go through something so you'd never ever judge them. Um, you and this person definitely could have like had like, you know, awful parents. I'm hearing something about like an orphanage or like having awful step parents or like you know coming from a childhood where like you know shit was just it was not it it was not giving and you understand that and even if you didn't go through it personally it's like you understand trauma you understand pain it's like um i remember my one friend like her mom passed away and then she met this other girl and her mom also passed away and like when they spoke, they were like, they didn't want sympathy, like, you know, it's like, only someone can understand, someone can only understand if you've actually been through it, you know, or like, um, let's say someone told you that, um, yeah, let's say like they lost their mom or something, and then you could say, oh, well, I lost my sibling, and it's like, although it isn't the same thing, you understand pain, you understand loss, and I feel like they like that you understand that, you understand what they've been through, you understand, you know, the pain that is with it, 
um, it's even like working in the same career like let's say you're a teacher like you understand the hassle that comes with being a teacher or working in the police force or you know the industry it's like you understand what it is because unless you've gone through it yourself you will never understand and you understand you know I'm trying to think of another example like it's at the tip of my tongue but yeah like I'm sure you get what I'm saying spirit what do they like about power one damn okay we have the six of pentacles that came upright so you could definitely be an earth sign or they could be an earth sign virgo capricorn or taurus because the devil is ruled by capricorn and yeah pentacles is ruled by um earth signs so also i'm getting scorpio venus scorpio mercury vibes scorpio rising that means you're sexy as fuck but okay um you're someone that's very generous, okay? And I feel like you're someone that's open, that is able to speak about your experiences in a very open way and they love that about you. Like I said, they aren't able to articulate certain things, but you are. And like maybe sometimes you will speak for your partner and not even in a controlling way, but it's like you know what your partner needs and like you satisfy those needs. Like if your partner, you know, has a diagnosis or if they have anxiety or trauma you will help them like maybe um going to restaurants and like um or like talking on the phone like it gives people anxiety and like you know it's a trigger for them so then you will like you know answer the phone or you will like make the booking for the place okay or um you know their triggers you under you took the time to like understand their different diagnosis to understand their different traumas and their triggers and they honestly love that about you they love that you took the time to understand them like i don't know why but i'm thinking about um 50 shades of gray like you know the guy christian gray and like on his back he had like cigarette burns and then anastasia was like what happened there you know and like yeah just understanding someone's triggers i feel like that's what they like about you so yeah that is what i got for pile one i really hope the video resonated i love you so much and let's get into the next one damn that was a lot pile one Whew. child that was a lot let me just damn that was a lot okay pile two what do they like about you so you guys chose the chemistry card okay chemistry 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 so for some reason i'm thinking about johnny test like you know the twins i'll insert a photo but like they're coming in for some reason i have no idea why and like even johnny test himself so you could be someone that's kind of like a rebel or um you're able to like turn your partner on like you know sexually you know sexual healing i'll link that song down below but yeah i feel like you're able to like have this build up and like this climax when like you know when you haven't seen someone for like a long time and then when you finally see them it's kind of like it's the best feeling ever i feel like that's how this person feels with you all the time like they still get giddy they still get excited they still laugh at all your jokes it's like the honeymoon stage but like 24 7. this person likes you because um you make them feel something you know I feel like I remember my one friend, um, he's a Taurus, and he was telling me that like he felt dead on the inside before he met like my best friend and like they're dating now and like it was the sweetest thing ever or like you know when people say like I love you so much that it hurts, I feel like this person hasn't experienced their first love and it's kind of like you are their first love or like they've never experienced um loving someone so much but they feel it with you like you know sometimes you just have that undeniable connection and chemistry with someone and you have no idea why like this person definitely could be your twin flame but it's like it's that zing it's that thing when like you're with them and you just know and i feel like this person's intuition and like their crown chakra and their sacral chakra it's activated when they're with you you know it's like you guys are so intuitive and like you can read their thoughts and they can read your thoughts and they just feel so in sync with everything 
it's like everything makes sense when they're with you they honestly feel like <laughs> they feel chemistry with you i feel like if you had to think of like a mundane term to like describe what i'm trying to say it's like it's chemistry you know it's bouncing off of each other and like being able to reciprocate the energy um yeah they feel like you guys have amazing banter they feel like um you guys understand each other and like there's this unspoken knowing that like you guys both want to be with each other and like just each other like this unspoken monogamy like damn um what else am i getting yeah like i just keep hearing them say that um they've never felt like this in a very long time and like they didn't think that they would be able to fall in love again but they did and like it's undeniable they want to take things slow with you i'm hearing that they used to rush a lot of their past relationships but like they wanted to last with you Ooh, um there's this documentary you should definitely watch it's called huckles wanted and like it's about the porn industry and like i remember there was this couple and like he was saying before like before he used to like just like fuck his girl like it was just like you know sex it wasn't anything but like now when they do it it's like slow and it's intimate and like it's more meaningful you know and i feel like in the past they used to like you know maybe hook up with a lot of people or they just used to be a player or something but like they never really felt chemistry or connection with anyone they would just do it like it was just a body but now like when they're with you it's like it's intimate it's slow like it means something you know so yeah you got this person smitten okay there's so many cards i want to come out okay spirit <laughs> okay fine i'll pull out a card spirit what do they like about pal two what do they like about Paul too? Damn. What card just came out? Okay, the King of Cups almost came out, but... Oh yeah, the King of Cups. So this talks about emotional stability in a way. But mostly it talks about someone wanting to be loved, you know. I feel like when it comes to the kings, especially back in the olden times, when it comes to like masculine energy and like, you know, obviously the stigma around men and like men can't cry and they can't have feelings, which is obviously false and wrong. And like, it sucks that there's this stigma and this um, expectation for men to act a certain way. But anyways... I feel like this person used to feel like that. They used to feel like they wouldn't be able to express themselves or fall in love or someone would never fall in love with them. Like they must, they could have been someone that was very insecure. And it's kind of like you don't mind their insecurities. You don't mind their shortcomings. They feel like they don't have to like try so hard. Like they can just be, you know, vulnerable with you. And it's like they feel like they can cry because they never thought they could cry before. So if you're dating someone and like, it's a guy that you're dating specifically i'm just hearing that um they used to grow up with kind of like they couldn't express themselves or like crying was wrong or whatever and now when they're with you it's like they feel like they can cry and like it's not a bad thing you know spirit what do they like about pal two okay we got the page of wands that came upright so i'm also hearing like if you send them like you know <laughs> dirty messages dirty takes like you know if you guys like do the sex thing and everything like they freaking like that you do that and like you just always give them a hard on bro like they're always turned on when they're with you like all the time like they're ready to freaking go um i'm also hearing that they like that you guys have the same sex drive where it's like yeah like <laughs> i'm not gonna elaborate on that but you get what i'm trying to say um yeah like i'm hearing that they like seeing you. They want to see you as much as possible and communicating with you. And just looking at you, like they're so grateful for you. So yeah, that is what I've got for Pal 2. I really hope the video resonates it. I love you so much and let's get into the next one.
Okay, pile three, you guys chose the You Deserve Love too. So for some reason, I'm getting Gemini. Oh my god, it's literally so freaking hot. Anyways, um, okay, You Deserve Love too. I feel like what this person um, likes about you is that you kind of remind them to take care of themselves in a way. I feel like you could be someone that's very independent and it's kind of like you have healed or you're always like trying out new things and I feel like you help this person heal as well and they like that you're able to heal their inner child but like unknowingly you know um I remember like my best friend when we used to hang out I didn't know what like the inner child was and then when we would hang out I'd be like so happy but like it was the happiness that was like nostalgic and I had no idea why like I, I felt like that and then I realized um later on that like it was my inner child being happy and I feel like I'm getting like this strong pull where it's like when this person is with you their inner child feels safe they feel safe within themselves and they feel like um it's like this unex indescribable indescribable uncontact that's a christian song <laughs> anyways but yeah it's like indescribable type of happiness i feel like you make them so happy and you make them feel so nostalgic um i'm even getting something a little bit sad pal three where it's like oh my god i'm gonna get emotional like i'm hearing this person say like they wish they met you earlier like maybe this person has been through a lot in their life and it's kind of like they wish that they had you in their life earlier and like you make them happy but you also make them sad because you make them so happy because they're saying like um it reminds me of like diane and she was talking about how like she went through all this damage and she feels like if she doesn't make something good out of her damage then like it's just damage and like she could have been happy all this time but she wasn't and I get this vibe where it's like this person is so happy with you but they're kind of upset that like you know they had to go through so much or that um yeah they had to go through so much because they're saying like if they were able to feel this happy like why couldn't they have been happy this entire time but anyways um this person just likes that you are able to heal them you have a very healing energy and you always remind them to like you know like you'll say okay good morning um how's your mental health um did you eat today have some water today like you remind them to do like little things you know it's like you you just make them happy but like it's the small things you do um but okay spirit what do they like about pile three spirit what do they like about pile three so we got the judgment card, okay? So I get the energy that um, this person used to judge themselves a lot or they used to feel like they weren't deserving of love. And then literally the card is saying like, you deserve love too. So um, this person likes that they feel like, it's not even that they feel like they deserve you, but they feel entitled to you, but it's like they trust you and they trust the happiness. Because uh, maybe in the past, they would always like, you know, second guess themselves or they never really trusted anyone. But like, they trust you. Even if they don't trust, you know, the feelings or whatever, they trust you and like, that's good enough, you know. Because maybe they used to have commitment issues or something. But I just get the vibe that like, they used to judge themselves so harshly. And then you taught them that like, you're supposed to be kind to yourself. You need to be compassionate towards yourself. And you taught them that... Um, they don't have to be so hard on themselves. You taught them that, you know, they deserve love too. They deserve compassion, that they deserve this and that. And um, they're worthy of your love. And that's why they're so happy. I get the vibe that um, they like that they can think about, like, you know, having a future with you, having kids with you, growing old with you, and, like, meeting your family and then meeting your family. Like, they aren't afraid to do that. But they used to be so afraid of that in the past. Spirit, what do they like about Pile 3? What do they like about Pile 3? 
the two of cups oh my god this card almost came out and then it didn't and then i shuffled again and then it came out wow so it's the re reciprocation of feelings i feel like they like that they can tell that you love them back um like i remember there's this quote and it said something like i loved him and he loved me and we were just together loving each other and i knew it and he knew it like fam it's the best feeling when you're with someone and you can feel that they that they care about you and you know that they care about you and you guys just both know that you care about each other and um i feel like that's what they feel when they're with you it's reciprocated it's it's equal you know like you heal yourself and they heal themselves they like that you give them space to be themselves and also you guys spend time together but it's like not a smothering relationship like you give them freedom still you know and they like that you guys are on the same page with each other when it comes to planning for the future so yeah i feel like this is a really short reading pile three but I'm not really getting anything else. Um, Spirit, what do they like about Pile 3? Okay, this card just fell out. But we got the Four of Cups that came upright. So the Four of Cups does talk about boredom. But like mostly it talks about not realizing what you have that's right in front of you. So um, yeah, you kind of just remind them that when things are tough or when things are like boring whatever they remember like oh shit like i have a partner and like my partner's there for me and like i deserve this i deserve that so i feel like no matter what happens between you and this person like this might not even be um a romantic reading like it could just be like a platonic reading but i'm hearing that you've given them coping mechanisms and like you've installed these sort of principles in them that they won't ever forget like, I'm hearing that the next time they go through a depressive episode or they go through something, they're going to remember that they deserve love too. They're going to remember this and that that you taught them. And I feel like it's going to stick with them for a very long time. And, like, that's one of the reasons why they really like you and love you. But, yeah, I feel like that's all the cards I'm going to pull for Pile 3. I really hope the video resonated. I love you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Okay. Bye.